Hey guys, it's Vino, and last part we got Pokemon. In this part, we're just heading over to Sand Gem Town. Oh, goodness, it's dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Anyway, the professor's inside this Pokemon Research Lab. Thud! What the? Oh, it's you! That old guy, he's not so scary. Anyway, I'm out here. See ya! Oh, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be impatient. Anyway, let's go. So anyway, we're going inside. It's gonna be warmer in there. If you're playing Platinum, there's gonna be snow around. Uh, so anyway, finally you've come, Bando, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Hmm, I see this Pokemon seems to be rather happy, even though that we've killed about three. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, Pokemon don't die, they faint if they run out of HP. I just, everyone uses the term kill, because basically, yeah, I'd rather say kill than faint. And... Anyway, I'll give you that Turtwig as a gift, even though you have done absolutely nothing for me. Anyway, would you like to give him a, a nickname? No! Your friend Barry told me, uh, sorry, I'm still on Turtwig, I'm sorry. Uh, your, your friend Barry told me what happened at the lake, I, things happened, and growing bond, and trust. I'm so glad that you're kind, if you weren't I'd have to, oh I just can't say, I'd have to yell at you, I'd have to call you a stealer, anyway, ahem, let's move on to the main topic. Something I want you to do, I am Rowan, even though we kinda knew that like a long time ago, like, I don't know, 16 minutes ago or something. Oh, first of all, I want to know exactly what kind of Pokemon. So in order to do that, we're going to use a Pokédex. Which, a Pokédex, um, I don't really need it. I can stand it without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Anyway, let me ask you again. Uh, yeah. So, no isn't an option, so you gotta get the Pokédex. Anyway, the Pokédex is high-tech device, it will record data of Pokemon that you encounter, and basically whenever we see a new Pokemon, it will, uh, in encounter in that. Also, I'll just give you a list, because I'll just give you a screen of stuff of the Pokemon list. Anyway, Dawn's got one too, and hopefully the kid has, the, the kid Barry has one. I've lived for 60 long years, even then I get a thrill when I'm with, oh, How much innuendo can you get from this guy? Anyway, there are countless Pokemon in this world, that means that there's just as many thrills waiting out for you. Anyway, now go, your grand adventure begins right now. I used a Piplup. If you had chosen a Piplup, we'd have the same Piplup. But anyway, yeah, she chooses the other Pokemon that uh, you and Barry hadn't gotten. Uh, plus, if you play Go, you'd be actually playing as Dawn, except in the exact same circumstances as I am. So technically, this guy, which is Lucas, um, character I am, his name is you, Lucas, normally. Anyway, so she's gonna teach us things, but basically what we can do is we can do stuff. Anyway, okay, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you, so follow me. Anyway, so she's gonna teach us about stuff. Anyway, this building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can heal your Pokemon in there, and that'll basically just revive anyone. You can also use a, use a computer in there. This blue roof one is the Pokemon where you can buy stuff. Since you're a novice, you won't be able to buy anything. So don't let it bother you. You know what? I can... Uh, oh, by the way, you gotta tell your mum. There's been no Pokemon ga game where I think you've seen your dad. Ever. Anyway, so we're just gonna head on back then. Uh, cause she's not gonna let us pass anyway. None of these guys really say anything useful. Unless, unless if you really don't know what Pokemon is. Now, throughout this LP, you probably will, but I think I'm explaining it a bit too badly. Too badly. Anyway, so let's go back. And, uh, take a quick rest. So anyway, yeah, your mum kind of acts as a Pokemon Center. Well, Professor Rowan has asked you to do something that big. Oh, I know. You can use the journal. Basically, that's, that's an item that will tell you what you've been doing last time you saved. I envy you, kiddo. I wish I could go instead. Yeah, I'm just joking. Anyway, enjoy your adventure. Stuff is happy, but come back. I want to see the kinds of po- Oh, gosh. Excuse me, is Barry here? Oh, no, he ran away. The boy shouted about going on an adventure. I want him to take his journal. So we got the parcel. Well, the parcel. Anyway, the parcel's gonna have all of this stuff in there because he ran away, pretty much. Ran away. 
Anyway, so let's... We're not gonna see Amon for a while. Hopefully. Hopefully, no. Uh, so anyway, yeah, back on Route 201. Now, you can, you don't have to fight the wild Pokemon. And that was... I didn't fight any down there. Oh, I was almost out of it. Uh, you don't have to fight the wild Pokemon. You can tap run on the bottom of the touch screen. Uh, and you can basically just go away from the battles, but you won't get any experience. Uh, so I'm gonna fight them because it's it's gonna be handy if you fight a few, uh, pretty much as many as you come up with. Uh, by the way, your moves have oh by the way critical hit that doubles the power of your move now uh, just for that turn. It's kind of rare, but yeah. Anyway, you see that the move is a type, and so this is normal type, and it's also got PP. PP is basically how many times you can use it. Uh, until you have to heal up and stuff. Um, by the way, if a move is the same type as your own Pokemon, you'll get a 1.5 times damage booster, and depending on the type of the opponent's Pokemon, that also kind of changes up how the types work. Uh, there's 17 types in total, including normal, grass, fire, water, stuff like that. Anyway, so Dawn's gonna be standing up here. Yep, there you are. Don't step in the grass! Oh, by the way, I haven't shown you how to catch the Pokemon. Okay, here you go. Uh, so, catching Pokemon is an important mechanic of the Pokemon games. Uh, basically, basically, the creatures that you find, you can also use them as your own. And that's the main mechanic of Pokemon, using Pokemon that you find. Anyway, so here's the first thing you do, is that you attack your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so, the people up here is going to use Pound, I'm not actually doing anything. Uh, so you want to weaken the Pokemon, because weakening them actually does a great deal of, um, stuff. Anyway, yeah, its HP is down, but you can reduce it pretty much as far as you can without actually dropping them, otherwise, uh, we're gone anyway. Wow, 20 Pokeballs, that's a lot. Uh, so let's use it, yeah, oh, sure. Dawn use one Pokeball! So anyway, Dawn has the most epic, uh, chant- oh. Most. She's pretty lucky right now because she caught that bit off easy. But Pokemon have a uh, certain. Depending on the Pokemon, that also depends on how on how easily it can be caught. For example, I think Bitoff is one of the easiest Pokemon to be able to catch. Um, so I may as well catch a Bitoff because I uh, will be needing a Bitoff uh, maybe as a HM Slave. Now, if you don't know what a HM Slave is, a HM Slave is basically a Pokemon that you assign and to teach all the HMs. HMs are moves that uh, are important in your quest because uh, you'll need them to progress because you can use certain abilities outside of battle. Anyway, um... So you can teach, anyway, HM Slave is basically a Pokemon that you don't care about besides just teaching lots of HM so you, so you can save up a Pokemon. Anyway, this is, uh, this is a new Pokemon trainer. Anyway, this is our first battle. This is Youngster Tristan. Yeah, Youngster Tristan. His first Pokemon is a Starly. Level 5. So... Now, now it's more ideal to fight in Pokemon battles uh, for the sole reason of um, you can you get more experience, and that's going to be handy. The only thing that differs is one, there's going to be a group of Pokemon, and they're probably going to be higher level than wild Pokemon in the era. But also, you can't run because why would you run from a trainer battle? You scared cat. Um. Anyway, so Turtwig isn't quite the fastest Pokemon. I think Starly's pretty fast. Uh, Pokemon right now. Uh, there's also a couple of new Pokemon that we can find here. Uh, so, oh gosh, quick attack. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna die right now. You have to be kid- oh, did I even heal? Yeah, I did heal. Sorry, a quick attack's a bit of a annoying move. You have got to be Oh my gosh! No! 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 Oh! Thank goodness. Growl is a move that reduces my attack, but thankfully it doesn't kill me. Well! First train of that one, I'm already about to die. Like, jeez. Anyway, so 60 experience points, that's quite a fair bit. So now we're on to level 7. Uh, again, more stats and stuff. Anyway, so we defeat Youngster Tristan barely. Uh, so thankfully, when we start the game, we have absolutely no items. 
So, I'm going to back it up. Oh, you are covering that, that exit. You have to be kidding. Uh, so anyway, there's a couple of new Pokemon that we'll find in uh, Route 202. First up is, not Starly, but it's uh, Shinx. Shinx has some pretty good attack, learns some good moves, and comes pretty good overall. So I, th I kind of recommend a Shinx if you want to get one. Uh, there's also a Cricketot. Cricketot evolves at level 10 uh, into a Cricketune, and that's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, the only problem is, one, he's really weak right now, like, so weak, you don't want to you don't even know how weak he is. Uh, he also only learns about, like, three moves as Cricketot, um, so yeah. Anyway, if you're wondering what I mean by Evolve, Pokemon, when they reach a certain criteria, so most of the time when they hit a level, sometimes it's happiness, sometimes it's just using a special stone on it, but anyway, uh, they evolve into a different kind of Pokemon, uh, pretty much a more advanced than, uh, superior form, uh, so yeah. Anyway, that's, that's, uh, useful because, um, stuff happens. Anyway, I spy my little eye. A trainer! A battle, please! Anyway, this is the second Pokemon battle in the game! This is Last Natalie. Natalie. Nat Last Natalie has two Pokemon, the first of which is Bit Off. What the fuck? Uh, Bit, but, uh, but it's level 3, so it's not gonna be too much of a trouble. I believe. Uh, so yeah, experience is based off of uh, basically how many Pokemon uh, were in the battle and also pretty much what level the opponent's Pokemon is. And also what type of Pokemon, because since certain Pokemon are stronger than others, it's only fair to say that certain Pokemon will give more experience than others and so on and stuff. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, we defeated the bit off. We got 36 experience points. And that's good, because now we've hit level 8. Which is really good. But wait, there's more. There's another bit off. So yeah, Pokemon trainers, including yourself, can hold up to six Pokemon. Unfortunately, no trainers besides the last battle in the entire game. Pretty much no trainers ever hold six Pokemon, which is a bit of a weird idea because uh, you can do it really easily. Like we have five Pokeballs. That's enough to, uh, or at least if we don't miss anything, um, any. Pokemon, then yes, we can use. Uh, anyway, Last Natalie has been defeated. Oh, boo, I can't win. Uh, so anyway, yeah, grass. Lots of it. Hopefully, oh. Yeah. Uh, again, Starly, jeez. Are we gonna see a Shinx or a Cricket? Maybe not a Cricket, because I think Cricket only. I don't know, I don't have the sidebars up next to my game. It's probably some, uh, my editing phase, but as you can see uh, on the slides, you can see uh, that there's three times a day. There's the morning, the day, and then the night, and certain, and the chance of finding Pokemon changes. Right now, it's 12.32, uh, so that's in the day, so you're, you're going to see day Pokemon. We're not going to see any night Pokemon right now, mainly because it's not night, uh, but yeah, um, uh, certain things also happen on certain days of the week. Uh, for example, we'll find a certain Pokemon later on a Friday, and Friday alone. Uh, so anyway, yep, up we go, yeah, and this is the third and last trainer in this route. Hump, let's have a Pokemon battle. Hump, but I'm gonna, oh, I, I did too many moves. So anyway, this is Youngster Logan, Youngster Logan has Shinx, so finally we can show off Shinx. Shinx is electric type. And Shinx is pretty cool. Unfortunately, Electric Type is no match for Grass. Somehow. Oh, maybe it was the other way. No, no, it was this way, yeah. Oh, come on, how'd you miss? Anyway, Leer is a move that reduces your defense. Uh, so if you're saying that the battles are kind of, uh, monotonous, you know, I'm just using Tackle. Yeah, kind of right now, yeah. But eventually there's a bit more strategy. For example, um, for example, we're gonna learn new moves pretty much, uh, pretty soon, like maybe next level even. You know, if I get a wild Pokemon in this next, oh, level up. 
Hopefully we may get even another move. Like Absorb. Absorb is a grass type move that will suck up some of the health of your opponent. Uh, what, where is this foot? Um, anyway, uh, so it'll suck up some of the health of your opponent, uh, and also... Things will happen and stuff. Oh gosh, there's a Pokeball there, but... Uh, right now we are in Jubilee City, where Dawn will say something. Hi Bino, are you catching Pokemon? Not really. Anyway, I'll see you guys next part, where we'll answer that question. See you guys.